This video will look at adding the watch list to the standard ticket configuration page in ServiceNow HRSD. Uh, note that this only applies for HRSD. This doesn't apply for ITSM. So this, uh, what we look at in this video won't uh, help you if you want to add the watch list for incidents. Um, so I'm looking at a um, case here and I'm on the standard ticket configure, I'm on the standard ticket page and uh, we can see we have the watch list here. So this is what we are looking to accomplish. And I'm basically going to be just following the steps. I have an article on my blog on uh, how to do this. Uh, first, we modify the view in the HR service. Then we add a My Request filter for the watch list. Um, then we modify the tabs in the standard ticket configuration. And then optionally, we can add a little watch list label uh, so that users know which uh, requests in their watch list, or uh, which requests in their My Request list are watch list and which ones are just regular uh, requests that they put in or they put on behalf of other people. Um, okay, so let's shift back to here. Let's go to the first uh, thing we need to modify to get this watch list on here. We're going to go to the platform view and we're going to go take a look at the HR service configuration. Um, so your first instinct, and it was mine, was if I want to add a, um, a, a or remove any fields from here would be to go to the uh, standard uh, ticket configuration page. And let's go, just go take a look at that. So standard ticket configuration and this one is in the talent management. Right, and we go into here and here, let's, this is in another scope, employee center. And we go in here in the info region, the advanced uh, box is ticked and we have some of these parameters in here. And I was banging my head against the wall for a while trying to figure this out. Uh, because if you uncheck the advanced, then you can select some fields in here, right? But that's not what they're using because the advanced is, uh, is, is checked and we're using a specific widget, the HRM case info widget. Um, so long story short, the configuration is not here as you might think it would be. Um, and it actually is in the HR case, uh, HR service configuration. So let's go back to that. We go HR service configuration, and this was a hiring re hiring request. And it's in these two configurations here, the open for approver view and the subject person task assignee view. So if we just go to the open for record, this is the uh, default record. So we can see the title row is here. It's giving us the HR service and the subject person name. And then the person row, this is where all of these things are. And we can see I added it down here, watch list, simple as that. Um, so that's the first step. That gets you the watch list uh, thing here, and you can add people to the watch list. So I already added Able Tutor here. Now, the second step, if we go back to the article here, is to add a My Request filter for the watch list. So you put people on the watch list, but there's no way that they can go and see uh, a list of all of the uh, cases that they're on the watch list for. Um, so there is one option. You can, um, I think there's some sort of uh, watch list um, widget that you can probably add to the home page or something like that. Um, but I think a lot of folks are just going to be used to going to this My Requests, and uh, they'd just like to see that uh, in here, right, in their list of all the other cases. So let's go back over to the platform, and we're going to look at the My Request filter. Uh, that's going to be right here. And you see, I've added one here, HR case watch list. So this is going to get me all of the cases or all the records in the HR case table uh, where active is true and watch list contains, and just a little JavaScript here, uh, gs.getUserID. Remember, this watch list is a list field, so it's just a comma separated uh, 
uh, sys IDs basically. Um, so that will stick the um, watch list records or the records for which I am on the watch list or the users on the watch list in this uh, my requests list. Let's go back here. Um, okay, so the third step is to modify the tabs in the standard ticket configuration. So uh, when you get them in the watch list or in the my request lists, that, that's good. And they click on it. Um, however, uh, when they click on it, all they can see is this top out of the box. I mean, all they can see is this top uh, region right here, and they can't see any of these tabs. So you have to configure these tabs so that they're visible to folks in the watch list. That's what we're going to do. Um, so for that, we go to the standard ticket configuration. So it is a little curious that um, the info region is configured in the uh, HR service, but the rest of the page is configured in the tab configuration here. So um, I think I did this just for the activity tab. So out of the box, you're getting the open four, or the sys ID is uh, one of these things. Uh, you're an approver, or you're open by, and you can see the activity tab. I just added this or condition with watch list contains and the exact same uh, JavaScript that we put in the uh, my requests filter. Um, so basically, this is saying uh, the activity tab will be visible if any of these conditions are met. And uh, so if you're on the watch list, the activity tab will be visible. Let's go take a look at one of the other tabs that I think I didn't make visible yet. Yeah, for example, this one. Uh, so this one says, basically, if you have a to-do task, then, or if the user has a logged in, uh, the logged in user has a to-do task, then uh, this will be visible. Um, so if you wanted to make this visible here too, you could just do a, or, you know, watch list uh, contains uh, JavaScript colon GS uh, get user ID. Um, and when we log in as a user who's on the watch list, you'll see that the uh, task to do is not is not visible, nor are any of the other uh, attachments or additional details. I don't think I added it for these ones. So you'll see that you'll we'll just see the activity tab for that one. Okay, great. And so the last step, and this is an optional step, is to add a little watch list label um, inside of the My Requests list so that users can distinguish between requests that they're on the watch list for and requests that they either open themselves or uh, they open, they're, they're open for or they open by. Um, so for that, let's go back here. Uh, what I did was I went to the uh, core case table. So SR, here we can just look at HR cases. And we go to configure table. And I just create a column called has watch list. It's a calculated field. And the calculated value. So if the watch list field has a value in it, it returns the text watch list. Simple as that. Um, and then what I do is when we go to the, I'm trying to remember where this is. I think it's in the HR service configuration. Oh no, it's in the my request filter. That's where it is. So now we have this field that will say watch list when there is a watch list and right we go back to our my request filter um i think i took it out here so the second so it's going to display the number it's going to display the short description the number and now we can just put that uh, has watch list field in there
right? So that's only going to display uh, when this filter is picked up, right? When I'm on the watch list, it will display watch list, basically. Okay, so let's go back to here. And so we already have Abel Tudor on the watch list. Let's impersonate Abel. And if I go to my requests, uh, I can see here uh, is the request for which, or is the case for which I'm on the watch list. And I can see this little watch list label here. Uh, if I click into here, uh, we can see that I can only see the activity tab, right? So those other tabs are not visible because we didn't make them visible in the standard ticket configuration. I also see the watch list field, um, so I can actually remove myself if I want from this watch list, or I can add uh, other people to that watch list. Uh, and just to contrast it with this one, which is a case that... Let's see, I'm the subject person for, and actually I'm the open for. So you can see here, I, I can see the tasks and attachments. Um, so all of these are visible um, in this case. So that's it. That's how you add the watch list to uh, the Employee Center standard ticket configuration page.